Mike McCool here in the Royal Examiner studio, and with me today I have Mayor Lori Cockrell and Town Manager Joe Walsh. This is kind of our phase two meeting. You were <laughs> together a month or so ago, and we talked about something that we just came out of the retreat you did, and yep. you come out with some talked about goals in the town and stuff. So yes. you know we kind of run out of time, so we want to maybe jump back in there and highlight some of the things and what you've got accomplished over the yep. last month or so. What do you think? And definitely some of the things that we've been able to accomplish because we, I'll follow up with that later. But we really have accomplished a lot of things yeah. on our list. We have very few things left to you check did off. The, uh, you did the little town hall down. Well, what yep. did you call that? It wasn't a town hall. It was, it was an open, open house. house. Open house. Open house. Yes, yep. that was yep. really good. That, yep. that turned out well, and a lot yep. of people showed up for that. A lot of people showed right. up. For you sure. know, I think it was really good for just the staff. You know, it showed the interaction with the public yes. and people that appreciated the services that they right. that they uh, offer. I and our staff was, was kind of excited. Yeah, like they they, they kind of took it to the next level. Like they they planned uh, for each of their tables and what they were going to share and made sure. sure they had things to pass out yeah, and yeah. to interest people. I know um, the um, electric department had you had to I. I yeah, I had to take this thing where it was going to unhook right. the wire, and, yeah, yeah. and everybody that came by participated. <laughs> that was not easy. That was like it was a little challenging. Yeah. So they really yeah. um, had you put on the gloves and yeah. and do things. Well, then so. when they extend, it's one thing they do it on there, but when they extend it to thirty feet up in right. the air, and that thing is going around like that, right? You've right exactly. It. <laughs> yes, I've done yeah. that. Yeah. Yep. All right. So. So where Mike, do you start? I, well, I d I wanted to just kind of back up a little bit about um, just about what the town okay. you know and and what's been going on in the last uh last year or two but you know before i came on board there was a lot going on in the town there were just a lot of things going on uh, a lot of instability we you know you were around so you remember we sure. uh you know we uh our town manager our town attorney even our director of energy services we were you know people were we had a lot of interims. We had people retired, yeah. people fired. We just had lots of, you yeah. know, we, we were kind of a mess. We had an evolving door. Yes, in yes, the we town did. Hall, yes. We even had the planning commission was doing an investigation, so there was just a lot going on. Um, and I really felt like the citizens want, they, you know, they were looking for, they want some stability and what's right. going on and, um, yeah. and just, to have some respect for their local government. I actually, um, funny story, I ran into a former mayor over the weekend. He's been, year, he was serving long, probably 10 years ago, I'm not really sure, but um, he said, well, I think y'all are doing pretty good with the town because you're not in the news all the time. <laughs> and I thought, is that something that that's the bar, that we're not making the well, news? You made front page yeah, today yeah, on the yeah. Daily. Oh, yeah. oh, we did? Yes. I, don't, I don't know. I you have got to... Lizzie Lewis front page holding right. the... Oh, good. Joe I, will tell, fill you yes. in. Yes, <laughs> oh, good. Well, I we get the daily. My husband gets oh, it and brings it home, so yes, I read yes. it cover yeah, to cover yeah. them. But all right. but, um, but the, I, I just, you know, I felt like, you know, Joe came on board that was definitely stability and yeah. that that you know he's very um you know he brought back a lot of stability for us and a lot of you yeah. know staff was excited well, he, about yeah, having him back he and, didn't take a whole lot of training he knows yeah, the community and yeah. he could he could hit the ground running yeah, yeah absolutely um so we you know spring of last year we passed our comp plan um yes. that you know to think that we had not updated that since 1997 that's something that should yeah. be done within every five years, every five years huh? um and so you know that's kind of a future picture of um what we want our community you know what what we want for the town so that that was kind of important we got the frida back up and running um that's our economic development yes the front row economic development you know right. the, the other we got some good people on there i think yes we, yeah, do. we sure do and uh you know with the with the other one you know the, the other EDA, you know, being insolvent, we we really want um, our Frida to be focusing on uh, growth in like commercial and industrial. In fact, last night um, the council had a presentation from a group um, that's a retail recruiter. Right. I, I'm not sure. I can't remember the yeah. exact name. They're I know the lady. Retail strategies. Retail strategies. I, I was going to say. I know the lady. The lady that did the presentation was Sarah Beth. Uh, it was an excellent um, presentation. She had already presented to Frida. Frida wanted council to consider it, and it seemed like last night right. everybody was on board with that. And so I think we're going to be able to allocate the funds for that. It's a three-year thing. They come in in the beginning and basically just kind of um, 
get a feel for it, collect data, collect information to see you know, what's already here, uh, talking to people, talking to businesses, and also like looking at where there's empty spaces and what, what's needed. Um, so I'm kind of excited about that. I think that's right. going to be a good thing. It gives us, it gives us a focus, a, a project. Right. Um, so what, yeah, this, they'll, they'll come in, they'll be able, be able to capture what our desires are because this is what we're hearing from the community. They like to have another grocery store and, um, as well as maybe a hotel in the corporate limits. And so what they'll be able to do is come in, find out what our desires and goals are. But what more importantly, they'll be able to take an analysis of our assets, storefronts that are occupied and not occupied, and let us know what retailers we can go out and get. Right. and what those requirements are. They're pad sites. They're also going to take a look at our code to make sure that our code is not prohibiting some of these retailers from coming in. So this is right. going to be uh, from a ground approach all the way up, and I think right. in three years we're going to be better off as a community. Right. Well, one thing to remember on things like that, because we've done these studies in groups over the last 50 years that I've been here, and and they're all great, and they really bring a lot of data, and then it just sits there on the shelf. No one has the vision to be able to take it to the next level. And that's something that, you know, you've talked about that on your, yeah. in your retreat. You know, okay, we got all this information. A comp plan, like you said, it hadn't yeah. been updated since 1999. So that means we weren't following it for all these years. And I'm sure we weren't in some areas. But that's the whole trick. If we have it, then, like we talked about the three-way test, right? Yeah. I'm going <laughs> to keep it. on you that. But it's like the comp plan. Everything that comes before the council or the town should right. say, is that on our comp plan? How's that? A, how does that work to our vision that we've come up with? And if, right. it, if it doesn't meet that plan, we need to say, oh, you know, poo-poo that. So. Well, and our hope, I hear what you're saying about it, comes in and sits on a shelf. we're going to keep our eye right, on it. Right, right. <laughs> so, but the benefit, if... You know, assuming council follows sure. through with the vote and allocates for it, it's a three-year kind of contract. And so in the beginning, they gather the information, and then, then the ideas they're out seeking, they're helping us. I think the fact that our Frida is going to be behind this, right. um, I think it's not going to go on a shelf. Right. I mean, I think that maybe there have been times in the past, and maybe, maybe other— um, EDAs or whatever, you know, this is the town, you know, focusing on the town and what's going in the sure. town. Some people asked questions last night about will this be stuff about the corridor? No, but this is really just focusing on the town right now. That that's that's right. that's our purpose. Right. Um, you know, and when we talk about commercial growth, you know, looking at Main Street, and you know, when I when I first came on council in 2020, I can remember going down on Main Street on a Saturday afternoon and there were there were Nothing. most of the doors were closed, right, you right. know, um, and not to say that there weren't some open, but but the majority of that it wasn't, wasn't like there. it was when you were a kid. Nope, absolutely yeah. not. You know, the, but so yeah, I was thinking about sidewalk sales and everything. Well, I remember um, going but, to Newberry's and yeah. had Patty Rittenauer making yep. some grilled cheese, right? That's exactly right, and, Patty. And, and, I love Patty. Um, but but you know, we had stores and we could buy shirts and right. shirts and right. shoes yep. and suits and everything. And that's what I was going to say about our Main Street in 2020 to now when I look at it, you know. I mean, we we now we have more restaurants. We have clothing options. We got Buckle and Bell. There's other places sure, too. Sure, I, I don't. Sure. I want to start naming some because I don't want to leave anybody out yeah, and make anybody. Um, but we have choices in our bakery. We have, right. um, you know, we. I feel like we have some anchor places down there now. Yeah, we that, got the on cue. Yes, really absolutely. The back yes, down Main Street. Yeah. And you know what? What that created was foot traffic, and so, you know, that's benefited everybody. I mean, I, mm -hmm. I personally, well, you know, you've been to some of the ribbon right, cuttings. Right. You know, even this past weekend, like the spa, like there is something. You know, there it's just really thriving. The and, synergy and it yeah, grows. Yeah, yeah, and even the art. You know. The, there's a there's an art studio, oh, but yeah. then there's also you know um, Arlene Links. You know there's there's really something for everyone. There's a meadery. There's front row wines. There's you know I just when I think about 2020 to now, like you go down on Main Street yeah, on a I'll Saturday there. now, there's something there's yeah. something to do. You know at the other end of Main Street we have our visitor center. You know our visitor center is open. You know every day it's open every day. Lizzie Lewis and her staff, you know, they're they're not just there welcoming people. You know, if you go in there, I stopped in there the other day because I was down there on Main Street. And I went in and they're like talking to people about here's a place to go eat. Here's something you could do. They're they're really ambassadors to, sure. to share what, you know, what yeah. we have in our community. Yeah. Um, and, you know, that was another thing. Um, 
I think in the year before, like 2022 maybe, um, that was an initiative of that council at the time is that we wanted to do more things downtown. Mm-hmm. I think it's happening. Right. Talking about downtown, this weekend. town's not really – Town was not really res- necessarily responsible for this, but the farmers market yeah. that has. Uh, well, you I grease the wheels. That's yes. how we. You know I, what I mean? Jody Wintrow is. Uh, I, I know Jody, yeah. and she's. I think it was. It's you know, been way bigger. It, right. It's, right. it's yeah. bigger than what. Like more people have come than what they thought. So that's yeah. a good thing. But downtown, you this were about weekend. to say it. Oh, I was, I, that was on my this list. This is our annual. Yes. You know, this is except our except for the Christmas parade. This is yeah. like I think one of yes, the best right. yes, things we do. Yes. Yes. And and it starts Friday night. And yeah. I think that's the part. A lot of people think of the festival leaves. They think of Saturday. It starts Friday night. Uh, we're gonna have dancing downtown, sold out. Sold out. There's have the place um, rocking. Right. There's yeah. gonna be food vendors and a beer garden, and you know, um, so. Come Friday night. Don't stay out too late, and come back on Saturday. There's yeah, all yeah. kinds of things. Uh, I've seen. I was talking to Rick today. Uh, we come in and finalize some signage, and he said right now they have. They had to finally cut it off. They got 230 vendors, wow. and they're still calling today, wanting to come because they know the weather's going to be nice. That's that's beautiful. what I was giving. Her. That was one of the things I think. The weather is going to uh, be our friend this weekend, yeah. and that's that's a good thing. Yeah, 230 vendors. Like I said, they've it's, run out of room. They'd have to, yeah. they, need, they need another street to set up on. Well, because they'll <laughs> be down Main Street, and they'll be down Chester, Chester right? right? Yeah. So alternating the sides, so it's going to help the traffic right. move through there. So oh, that's good. They could cram, but, you know, they want to make it room, to, places to sit down. Right. And I think right. that was always, you know, you know. Come yeah. here, settle in, you know, yes, venture that's out. It. That's, that's kind of like, that's, it. that's how the festival is. But I think there's a lot of stuff going on. You cannot not be entertained this weekend. I right. mean, it's sure. going to be great. And, you know, I, I just want to say, too, like, it's not just, like, this weekend, yes, Front Row is going to be on display, and this is wonderful. But we, you know, our tourism, you know, our, our people coming into our area, yeah. that's happening all the time. It's not right. just this right. weekend, although we are about to embark on yeah, the leaf Some lookers. people, yeah, the, the leaf peeper season, um, which I would say to our, our our citizens, please be patient. I know it creates some more traffic during those times, but, you know, this is extremely important to our economy. Some of our small businesses, this time of year is is key for them. This well, is, I, you know. The, we, I, on a previous town manager, okay. uh, I, I went down on that street, you know, the VDOT put up your signs, you had this the, Big yellow flashing oh, yeah, yeah, sign. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep left, you know, traffic left. I went down there and put up signs that says, turn right and visit downtown Front Royal. Don't there. stand in line. Yeah, that's true. This is true. <laughs> they got mad at me. Well, but that is true. We want them to do yeah. that. And that's yeah. that's the part. I, I always said when you come in on 55, instead of going straight, make them turn right and come right. down Main Street and then come back down 340. So we like, you know, yeah. see what's going on. One of the projects that we were trying to execute for this festival yeah. was painting leaves on the road to direct yeah. people not just to Skyline sure, Drive, sure. but direct them, redirect them back into downtown. Right. Uh, unfortunately, with all the rain, we weren't able to execute that. Right. So we hope to bring that back next year. Yeah. But we will have local extra extra law enforcement as well as public works yeah. on the scene over this weekend yeah. to help help at least improve traffic flow and try to alleviate some yeah. of those pinch points that we have in yeah. some of the traffic yeah. signals. Stay, people want the locals stay off South Street. But, it, yeah. you know, again, the, you would never know it by the shopping center. It's full because yep. people do stop. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And, you know, the thing is, like I said, uh, about all these people coming in, this is the part sometimes people forget. that Those tourists, while they may... Um, while people may be a little annoyed by the extra traffic, you know, that helps our economy. They come here, they spend money, and they, they leave. Home. We don't have to educate their children. We don't have to provide all the other services that are, so that that's a good thing, right? All right. Um, but you want, I wanted to say you said about rain. I just, um, when you said about oh. the rain, you know, um, this is probably one of the times in my life I've not been upset about the rain, right? We right. we. Definitely yes, needed we it. got off our water. Yes. Our water. Yeah. That brings me up a point. And someone said to me that when the town has a water, I want to say not a shortage, but let's say water a, conservation, a efforts. conservation effort, mandatory or voluntary, it's not affecting the people that are on town water in the corridor. It's funny that do, you should what say What are we going to do about that? So last night, 
at our town council meeting, we discussed what we were going to. Um, oh, we have a liaison meeting sure, with the county sure. coming up on October seventeenth. It's a Thursday, and we were we were uh, adding items to that, and that was brought up. So we're actually going to talk to them about that. Yeah. Like how do how do we because we can enforce it in town, right. but there's residential areas out in the you know business in the corridor. Sure, we. They, you know, you're right. They're, they're, we're not the yeah, only ones using the water. It's not a lot of water, but it all, it all adds up. It's a cumulative right. effort. Yeah. Know? So, yeah, that just became aware to us. So we're working yeah. on that. And I think, think we're going to have that. to yeah. collaborate yeah. with the county because the county's yeah. going to have to put it in some type of code or, or some type of policy and enforcement. So it's yeah. definitely something we're looking at. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. you're right. People did bring that up. If we can't water our flowers, why, why can't why they? they so, yeah, right. You know, right. we're all about fair. <laughs> we want to be well, fair. Well, you know, I think what the public, and you mentioned it, it's about the transparency. Yeah. And, you know, and we know that too much stuff goes on in closed sessions, not just the town, but the county. And there's a lot of stuff, you know, in the works now. But, uh, you know, like the subdivisions and all. People just want to know. Someone said uh, about a story we posted about this, uh, one of the recent subdivisions. Can you publish the map so we know where that is? Mm -hmm. And I thought, oh, duh. You know, <laughs> why yep. don't we do that? And we have it. The staff has all the, yep. the, the look. But so people are interested in what's going on. And, and uh, see those maps and things like that. That would be in our agenda that's public. Right. But whether or not somebody's going to go on, click and on it, and take the a look at it. Yeah. Yeah, right. No, right. it's true. That is but, true. Yeah, so we're going to try to do more of that as we go right. forward. We're going to, yeah. but, you know, at least put links to things that people can go yeah. to. Because I've actually had people say, Say, well, I know they've talked about where they thought it was, yeah, and I was like, there at all. That, yeah. that's actually not where it is. So, right. yeah. um, so that that's I think that's true. going to be a good thing too. I think we, uh, we'll, yeah. we'll see how it goes. You know, I think we need to have growth. We just need to have growth is coming whether you want it or not. But the water is going to drive the growth. And you know, I know the town has been working on this so-called secondary water location, but you know, maybe in multiple locations. Right. We are we are currently evaluating McKay Springs. We've been talking about McKay Springs. Yes. We've had this on our radar yeah. for over ten years. Right. Yeah. Uh, but we're finally gonna actually do some evaluations to make sure that it is a viable water source because it may not be a viable right. water source. Right. If not let's move on to Right. Ram and so we're also <laughs> we're also exploring uh, quarries as well. Because you basically have three main water sources. You have surface water like we get from the Shenandoah River. Right. You have ground wells, which are typical of what you would see out in the county with right. residentials. And then you have quarries, which are normally fed from natural spring or a crack in the ground. So we are exploring all the options. We realize that we're not going to solve this overnight. But I think we, what we're doing today is we're making steps to make sure that we're positioned in the future to meet yeah. the demand of this Because we've been kicking this down the can for as long as I can remember. Well, McKay Springs was actually bought in, um, in the late 1990s for right. this actual purpose is that if it's kind of what I would call like a just in case. Sure. And so, and, and Joe's right, this isn't, you know... I know some people have made the suggestion that we're just talking about it this summer. We were already, we've been, McKay Springs, since right. I've been on council, we've been right. talking about McKay Springs. You know, there there's people have talked about some development out there, and the town made the decision that we, we were not going to get rid of the piece that had McKay Springs on it right. because we wanted to preserve that opportunity yeah. if need yeah. be. You know, you got to think about it. Robert McKay, you know, there's a reason why he picked that spot to settle. It's He's the first. About the water. Yeah, <laughs> right. it is. It's but he was the first the settler in Warren County. That's why um, the town is built here. It's on. The, yep. It's because of the water. So. Yeah. And so that that you know we we have been you know it it has been on people's radar. I think last summer, and this summer definitely right. I would say magnetized it or maybe like. You know, made us speed up a little bit on it, but the consultant that came in, as Joe said, you know, he he shared with us. I, I want to say March, but I don't. I, it was March or April. He presented to us. Maybe it was it, somewhere in the last few months when he came in. He talked to us, and this was before we were in conservation again. Um, he talked to us about some options, like whether or not we would want to put a water plant there or whether we'd want to do ground wells. And then that's when he mentioned that in looking at our topography, there might be an opportunity for a quarry. Um, and so, and actually, again, talking to a former mayor, they mentioned that quarries have been talked about before right. in the past. So, so, so I don't feel like it's new. Yeah. So yeah. I think, and we've been, yeah. you know, again, yeah. I think it's, I think we've gone through the stage of talking. Now yeah. Now the council needs to come along and say, we're going to do some action. Yeah. And like you said, let's 
we've done talked about it and we yeah. gotta study it. Now let's yeah. let's make some decisions yeah. once we said like you said, move on or Right. You know, and I'm really, hopeful and I'm hopeful that in January we will bring to council that feasibility study yeah. for McKay Springs. So it takes can, a long time to build yeah. infrastructure for things like well, that. It costs a lot of money. We right. had right. money set aside for this study too. So like I said, we it was there it was on the okay. radar, and I believe we even added a little bit more to it because he what we set aside it was he wanted to go a little bit more in depth. Yeah. So, um, but anyway, that's yes, important. that's, that's definitely on our radar. But I think the, the you know, talking about it, letting yep. the public know that yep. you know we we are doing something. We just haven't right. you know because they don't hear anything yep. about it. You know, it's kind of like all done at staff level, and yep. they really don't share the wealth. And I appreciate you giving us the opportunity to sure, talk about it because I, I yeah. do know that that's been the talk that the town wasn't doing anything and and you know you can't really knock on every person's door and say no, we are can't. doing stuff about it but we but it has been and we've you, been talking you, you about come it. Up with, you had this retreat. Yeah. You've come up with these goals and I think you know are, are we going to stick to them this time? Are yeah. we going to really focus on them? It's okay to change and modify a little bit but we've gone to that effort and you know, someone's got to drive the boat and crack the whip, you know, and keep people focused. You know, that's why we talk about our three-way test. You yeah, know? there you go. I think, you know, and, not, and it's kind of joking when we say that, but it's important to, you know, and we talk about, you know, what's a town function? You know, it's always yes. nice to do a lot of stuff, and people yes. think we can do these things, and we probably could, but is it a town function? Right. I that's... mentioned to Joe before we started, I said, and I don't think people look at it, but we're like a sanitary district. We're just an overlay in the county because we're still in the county. Right. You know, the county is yes. not around us. It is us. Yes. You know? People <laughs> forget that a they lot. They forget <laughs> that a lot. And I think one of the goals, you know, we've always talked about, you know, all oh, the county we're working together. You mentioned the liaison, but it seems like it's just right. still butting heads that somehow they don't get it that, you know, the county should be here, you know. I'm from yeah. the government, and I'm here to help you. Yes. And that, that really yeah. ought to be the truth. Yeah. <laughs> well, before we start talking about this goals, okay. I want to touch on something you just said okay. about, like, the county. So I know I've said this. I've said it publicly. I said it from the minute I got on council. I have never felt like it was an us versus them. When people would say things, I... I am Warren County. When people say, where sure. are you from? Warren you County. know, I say Warren County. You know, I you know I live in the town of Front Royal. But we, every town citizen is part of the county. Exactly. And so what when we're doing, you know, when we're doing things to better the town, we're bettering the county yeah, too. So right. I don't, to. I mean, you know. I, 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 I did a, a campaign a few years ago. You probably still see a few signs around, you know, Front Royal, the heart and soul of Warren County. That was my <laughs> slogan. Yeah. And it's true. I mean, yeah. You know, and because if the town is good, it's good for everybody. Right. Because right. everyone in the county uses the resources right. of the town. So. Well, the town's a little more than fifteen thousand people, and the county, I believe, is like forty-one. That's counting the same fifteen. No, no, no. That's why I'm I'm trying to say that we're fifteen, right? And they're about forty-one. I thought they were at forty-five, but I was corrected yeah, recently. Yeah. So you know, we're we're more than a third of that, but. Sure. About the council goals. Okay, let's go back um, to yeah, that. Yeah, just one minute. If, so, we if we don't stop, yep. Lori, we'll never no, get out of here. Actually, it's not me today, So, but that's good. That's good. Um, but so the council goals, you know, in, in January, one of the things that, again, that I really wanted to get back to was just an effective goal-setting session. It wasn't just two nights. It actually involved weeks of the council members doing individual, like, reflecting what they homework. thought. What, yeah, yeah, it was a lot of homework, wasn't yeah. um and so myself and the council, we did, you know, then uh, we put it all together and really kind of sifted through. I'll tell you, there was more on this list, but we had to say, what is doable? What are we going to focus yeah, on right now? Yeah, focus we could. it could have been a, a yeah. book of all the things. Yeah. But I read a book once called Power of Focus, and I think that is so true. We, the, we have a tendency that the urgent gets in way of the important. Right. So we actually, we had three goals and 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 then within the goals there were 14 action uh, steps. Now I'm going to say these today, but I'm going to encourage citizens. You can go on the town website; it's there. And every time we meet one of the action steps, it has the date beside of it. When it, I mean, I, we can show you this, but um, but the three main goals were the promote community and economic well-being. Mm -hmm. Practice good governance and sustain our infrastructure. That's right, what I say. Right. Like these are things that's some that's not new, even though people might want to think that or suggest that it's not. But so there were like 14 action steps when mm -hmm. Joe and I were looking at it the other night. Right, right. Literally, we only have four left. I was going to say, There's look, you checked on a lot yes, of these off. Yes, yes, yeah. exactly. Um, and and I will tell you, like 
one of those four, um, you know, that it's it's kind of it's kind of out of our um, out of our hands a little bit mm-hmm. about the finishing leech run and the land conveyance. So that's something that you know it's probably going to be a goal that goes on in January sure, for, sure. for us again. So, um, but some of the things I'll, we can highlight a couple of the things. Well, I want to tell did, you one but, thing: is you, Joe took my advice. Uh, okay. On one thing, I, and I'm going to take credit for it. <laughs> okay. And just last week, you get, the crew came by and cut off all the little tiny 12 inch strips of grass through town, and you know, because it was this thick. And, oh, right. And they did, they trimmed that up. Now, so all that rain. All that rain. And then all of a sudden, it's grass again, and yeah. it does, it enhances the thing. Yeah. Now, the only other thing, this is my second Uh-oh. advice. Uh oh. You cannot trim grass edges with a weed eater. You got to get an edger. So I, I just want to tell this, you that again. I think you said that the last I time. I did. Then, I hear you. I'm telling you. Or maybe it, you just said it to me. <laughs> I just said it to you. But uh, it just gives it a nice edge. And you want to talk about improving the um, instant look of something? Versus a weed eater. Not that weed eater is better yeah. than nothing. But yeah, there you go. You get that, it is faster with an edger. So, okay. But you've done improvement, and I want to give you a really do, you know, a lot of kudos for that. And wow. it does improve the Im- uh, image of Commerce Avenue. Yes. So it does. Okay. So it was getting a little ratty. Well, thank you, Mike. Okay. We <laughs> have we have we it have over 170 employees that are dedicated. I know, and they were day. out there. Yes, and they did a great yeah, job. They did, and they cleaned they up do. their mess. So, yeah, you know, it was good. It was good. So I didn't hey, want to take your thunder yeah, there, but yeah, I, you know, I just want to let you know that people did notice. Okay. And, yeah. And, do that. and you know what? That's one thing I I will say that um, as I've been door knocking for the reelection campaign, we get compliments. I said this the other night at the town council meeting, so I want to say it again. We I so many times I'm knocking on the door and people were saying, you know, and I always say, you know, do you have a certain concern? Is there something that's bothering you? Is there something you feel sure, like we need sure. to be taking a look at? And, you know, there's plenty of people that will tell you, you know, sure. here's some things you need to think about. But we get so many times I get people say, you know, actually everything's looking good. And sure. one woman said, after she told me some things, she said, but I really want to make a point that your staff, they are such hard workers, and she pointed out sure. the different things. So we do have, we're just so blessed. We right. really, we really are. And I'm gonna, I want to follow up in a minute about our staff and something okay. they're doing right now. But like I said, these action steps, yeah, we, you, you know, we yeah. like many things. But what is probably the most recent thing that I would like for us to talk about is our Citizens Academy. And so that just started last month. It was the first one. The next one is in October. Um, and that was part of our good governance goal. And it was uh, it, it really, I see this as a twofold thing. It gives the participants, and we opened it up to anyone, people right. applied, um, but really, I don't think we turned anybody away, right? Or well, did actually, we have to? Well, you know, uh, we had our first um, uh, application two hours after we put it out on the Facebook. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Within one week, we had all eight slots filled, and we yeah. had people calling, and we put them on a wait list. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the whole idea is to hopefully enhance uh, citizen engagement yeah. and, 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 and let them understand, get them to understand our day-to-day operations of the town government, because... While we have 170 employees that come day to day to serve the citizens, we have over 50 citizens that volunteer for boards and commissions. And so sure. that is our hope that we can increase engagement with our sure. citizens because we need them to help function this government. Yeah, right. And that's what I was that's what I was gonna that when I said it was a twofold. It allows the people that are participating to learn about the function of governor and what's going on. Each department's going to be highlighted each month, so they're going right. to go. I know you talked before about I know, how I you to, wish you'd like to do, get Joe into like the water plant. Joe and we've yeah. been working yeah. on it. So. Kind of like a, you know. But the other part of this is, is that I hope that this will ele- get some more engagement participation from our citizens on some of our boards and commissions. Right, right. Here's the thing. Sometimes we have those boards and commissions. We have the applications open and open and open, and we struggle to get somebody to want, you know, to even apply or sure. to participate. Um, and I feel like this will, you know, this will allow people to get you know, maybe they want to go, you know what, this was really good, and now I want to get involved. Yeah. And maybe I want to run for council. Sure. You know what I mean? Like, this is, you know, it's kind of like 
growing your own. Like sure, we're sure. getting people involved. Sure, I, sure. I attended the first one with Joe, and it was at the um, town hall. And it was that one really focused on just understanding nice. government and and kind of an overview. Mm-hmm. But there were great questions. Very people good. were, and I think there were some aha moments. Like yeah, I agree. You know, some people are like, oh, like, you know, yeah. I, didn't, I didn't know yeah, all no, of that. that. So I hear that all the time. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Right. right. Or they say, well, it's just kind of like what's going on, doing things happen. Well, you know, we really can't do that because of this or that, or the state doesn't allow us, you know. Right. Oh, I didn't know that. They think you can just do anything and everything. Yes, you know. yeah, exactly. So I, I don't know, Joe, if there's, I was going to highlight some other things that have been going on, but is there any other goals that you want to point out that? I, I um, just, I, I personally want to commend the mayor and council. I think we had an excellent retreat this year. I think we were able to, I think one of the biggest milestones were that council came together and agreed on a vision and a mission statement and our core values. And so I think we can build upon that. And I, and what I'm, what I'm also excited about is these goals were realistic. And while some are going to take multiple years, but this is how you get started. You sure. got to take the first step, and right. I am excited the way we're moving forward with right. this. Yeah. Well, one thing about it, every time something comes up, you can always look back and say, "Now you agreed to this, and that doesn't meet." And I think we should yeah. do that. Hold people, yeah. you know, make them accountable to it. So, and, and some of the things when we were setting these, like I said, there there were more, but we these were the ones that everybody agreed upon, right? right? And so, a good place to start. Yeah, and we didn't want to overwhelm ourselves, right. but really, honestly, I thought we had a lot. And I thought this could be more of like a sure. two-year thing, and I feel like we've accomplished quite sounds, a bit. It sounds like January. You need to come back and add some more stuff. Well, to that's what I was going to say. Come January, the plan is that there's another retreat, um, and you know, kind of look at what we've done. Maybe expand some. Maybe we look at some and say, you know what, we could have taken that to a different notch. Or maybe right, we right. look at the ones that we parking lotted and said. Now we got to tackle those, yeah. but I did want to highlight a couple other things that are All going right. on All right. with Let's the town. Quick now, Lord, Valor Award. Mark here. So, yeah, he's gonna. Yep. So the Valor Award. Um, oh yes. The Valor Awards that we had last Thursday night. Um, one of the, um, you know, obviously one of our officers, Lanny Waller, was recognized, but the town was recognized, um, and I. I should have brought it. I meant the, I, it's at town hall, but we um, they see, awarded yes. us. You were there. Well, you yes, saw we it. Did yes, it. we, we yes. got a whole video. Yep. We wrote a whole story. Yep, and yep. We put a video and listed all the uh, award, yep. award winners, the town, the yep. county, and you know it was based upon a couple of fire situations. Yes, that we did. But people don't realize how much effort that all these organizations right. had to work together. Yes, and, and we've been so, hearing a lot of that. You know, on the right. federal level where yep. they're not working together. Yep, and we see what happens. Yeah. So the award was you know highlighting our staff, Joe, his people, but also, like you said, and it was the coming together and, and you know, everybody sure. working together, not we're, just the town and county. Good, right. There were no yeah. county-town lines nope. exactly. during that event. Yeah, right, in fact, right. I will say that somebody mentioned that to me at that time with wildfires and stuff, and they said that, you know, on that day, everybody was just, we're all working together. And that's how it should be, Let right? me tell you what happened at the, you were there, Joe, at the award. So when Lori came up to get the award, they wanted to have her say something. And she was so overwhelmed with the, getting the award, she just could not say anything. Yeah, well, And what, I thought, whoa, yeah. that, that took 20 minutes off of yeah, the yeah. <laughs> ceremony. Well, let me tell you what I, when well, you take uh, all no, this abuse. No, I know. <laughs> and I come back for this, too. Uh, um, but that, honestly, that night, I, if I, we were out in the, when they were telling us right. what to do, they said, no, there will be no speeches. Right, right. And so then when we got there and um, Chairman Culler spoke, I was like, okay, they told us not to. And I'm like you. I was like, this isn't, this <laughs> it's night, not it's not about me. No, right, it was right. not about me. It yeah. was about our people. And yeah. I was really proud of them. Well, but let's, let's, let's go ahead and save some of this stuff for okay. our next thing. But what I want to bring up when you talk about your people, you sent four people on our electric That That was the next oh, was thing. That the next you thing? stole okay. my thing. Well, yes. Well, I'll yeah. let you go ahead and do no, it. No, no, no. We'll it wasn't me. I, I was going to have Joe okay. because I don't know if 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 people are on social media they heard about it but if they didn't we published a big story yeah. on it right? yeah. you sure did right? hundreds yes. and hundreds and yeah. you know I think we we're the only one that did so we we ran with yeah. it and I yeah. called yeah. your Thank staff you. they give me a good quote yeah. and so Joe uh, tell to, so let's follow so up on right that. after uh, Hurricane I guess it was Helene yeah. yes. um, we got a call from mutual aid we have agreements with all the municipalities in the state of Virginia as well as nationwide mm-hmm. and so we got a call for the city of Bristol Virginia they needed help so we sent four linemen and equipment down there uh, a week ago last Saturday. Right. 
they were able to restore power within three days. And so we got, uh, so when we were relieved there, we found out that a place called Clinton, South Carolina, it's a community of about 800, 8,500 uh, right. citizens, they needed help. And so our guys went down there and spent the next seven days restoring power. And what really brings it home is we got a, an email from a citizen in Clinton, South Carolina last week who went on our website, picked out the lineman she talked to, and found out the email address and sent us a thank you mm -hmm. from Clinton, South Carolina right. for our, our men that went down there from Front Royal. So right. yeah. that just shows you that this is a cooperative effort that it takes us all to get it done right. in times of need. Right. So I commend Are those they for them. They, they came back yesterday. Well, I wanna, I w what we want to do is go over and talk to them about the lessons. they, Because really, they learn more and more helpful to them. And the, in, and the energy and the experience they're going to bring back now and share with their other employees. I think yeah. that's important because right. yeah. you learn a lot doing these things by helping people. Well, I'll leave that up to Joe to ask whether or not they want to well, we talk. But it would be a great... No, but, I, um, right. but seriously, you know, I think that... But, and it's a good public relations yeah. thing as well. Yeah. But uh, I thought that was an important key story, and we highlighted Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Thank you for that. Right. Yeah. And, and, that. And, and as I've told people, if you felt like you weren't helping, you were helping because yeah. you're – your your town staff was down there helping people, well, and they that way they left their family and their yeah. kids. Yeah, I commend yes. them. They were it's gone ten of, days. They yes. worked ten, sixteen hours a day. I was going to say yeah. that's ten days. That's yes. not just a going yeah. down there. For and a they were hours. working. And yeah. the email was um, it, it was really it was really an amazing email, yeah. and it was very heartfelt. I mean, she was yeah. very sincere and talked about how you know she came home. And, you know, how she thought everybody's power had been restored, but she realized it was just hers. But then slowly everybody was getting right. it. She was very grateful. I, I mean, can you imagine oh, I know. You know, yeah. me without yeah. that? Um, yeah. so, we had it but, happen here, but not. Yeah. One thing I'll say about our electric department, it can go off everywhere in the county, mm -hmm. but we always seem to, we, you know. We have it here. So. Yeah, we yeah. built built-in redundancy and looping. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. That's because ability. Joe is in charge of our electric department for many years. Yep, That's and why. Carrie's great, too. Yeah. Yeah. Carrie's we have great staff. Yeah, yeah. we, we really have do. have professionals in every yeah. department. Yeah. It's yeah. exciting. I keep telling you about the sewer plant. If you can smell it, it's not working. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow, I just remember that that quote that he gave me. I thought, yes. But it's, again, you learned yeah. this in the uh, academy. In the That's academy. exactly right. right. Yeah. And I'm, I'm sure that, um, yeah, you know what? Maybe in the spring, when the academy's done, maybe you can we can yeah, pick a, a few little, of the participants yeah. and have them what come in and yeah. say, hey, "What did yeah. you get out of it?" Yeah. If they're willing, right? And one of the interesting things was I had employees who wanted to sign up for the Citizen right. Academy. So what that has done is we're going to spearhead some shorter version of the academy for our yeah. internal employees because yeah. we didn't realize that we yeah. had employees that were interested in in learning about these other things as yeah. well. So. Yeah. This is one idea begins another idea. Well, it's just like, you know, the woman down there collecting your money for the electric. She just gets the money, but all of a sudden, you know, it's when she can see how it works and the right. service yeah. and where it comes from, yeah. and all of a sudden, you know, you're just not, it right. just makes your job better. I well, think, you right. never walk into anything, no. Some, you never walk into anything knowing everything. And really? I, no. Oh, I, I, I just want to say, like, when I think about 2020 and starting, and I tell people this all the time, I had, I've lived here my whole life. I had no idea everything. I mean, even going on streets, I didn't even know existed yeah, in yeah. town. You know, you just, so I, I think the, the, the participants are excited about it. Yeah, and I think, great. you know, and I think our staff are going to be happy because each each department's gonna right. take a night, and so you know they're gonna. That's a good idea. Yep, it's a great well, idea. It's you know, a great all about goal. Transparency. I appreciate yep. you guys coming yep. in. Thank uh, you. I know if we keep going on, we'll just run out of yep. tape. Thank you for <laughs> no. letting us come but in. I want you to come in, like you say, you're coming in about every month now and sharing what's going on. You brought Joe a couple times. You brought a council person, yep. and I think that maybe that's something too. You can bring somebody from council. And, yep. And okay. You know what? Or we could also bring somebody from staff. From too. staff too. I think that we would should, be. We'll go back and we can mm -hmm. talk about. The departments. The the draw straws, which one doesn't want to yeah. come, right? Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, yeah. um, but, but, you yeah. know, everybody always nervous. But once they get here, we they find uh, out how easy it and and uh, You make it easy, Mark. I make it easy. And, and Mark, it, that's Mark great. Mark's great. He, and patient. If we can keep him awake, yep. he's over there. Uh, yeah. He does great. Again, Lori, thank you so thank much you. for coming in. You're thank doing a great you. job. Joe, you too. Again, thank appreciate you, you and all the things that you do yep. uh, for our county. I told Joe, remember, we have a town management form of government. Let him do his job. Yep. I actually
actually think that I think that I think I do a good job of letting Joe. I was yeah. going to say I respect yeah. Joe and and yeah. have to remind people yeah. this is yeah. it's his job. Let him do he's, it. He's in charge of staff and you let know. him do it. Yep, yeah. that's they, right. Get out of the way and let let it move. Right? Yeah, we're blessed, yeah. To well, have Joe. I appreciate that. Thanks again so much. Thank guys. you. Thanks.